Hi, my name is Leah Day, and I'm here with my husband Josh, and today he is stitching out stippling an echo shell in one of our basket blocks. So let's get started. So we've knocked out a lot of this block, and um, I've kind of sat here next to Josh, and we've kind of worked through it together in the most logical way, and I just wanted to show you how Josh was able to stitch this with such minimal travel stitching. He started down here and stitched up to the corner of the basket, then across to the inside of the handle, then stitched the inside of the handle line, came up, and did the wiggly stippling within that basket handle, just using the inside handle line as a way to travel stitch. Came on the outside and stitched the outside line, and then again used that stippling to connect all the way back to this point, and then finished stitching in the ditch. So that's a really good path to take to get most of this knocked out. I mean, already the block's nearly all knocked out, and you're back down here ready to do all the echoes. And has this been pretty easy so far, Josh? It has. I'm not uh, the biggest fan of stippling, but this scale is okay to work with. And I've also learned it's easier for me to, uh, when I'm stippling, just to do it freehand. Awesome. But I'm getting better at it, I think. Yeah, and you know, that's the thing. Stippling is one of those designs that you're supposed to stitch freehand, so that's that's actually a good thing. Uh, stitching it on a, on a marked line, for me at least, that can be a struggle simply because this is such an easy design to freehand quilt. So let's get started with the echo shell first and we can hopefully share a lot of tips on quilting that design. So this is just radiating out from one corner. The very first echoes are going to be very tiny and small and really working on proper orientation for your block, what feels most comfortable for you, uh, that's going to help you make that curve. Especially when working with curves. Yeah. That is that's key. I sometimes find having the block set up so it's at a right angle. So like in this situation, you see how Josh has been rotating. Basically, this is kind of forming a right angle to his body. This is forming kind of a right angle to his body. It's kind of a natural movement because this is a quarter circle. I think that's something that makes it easier. Josh has stitched through all of these echoes up to this area, but we're missing a few over here. And kind of what's your game plan? What is your plan for finishing the rest of this? Well, I was thinking to uh, go down here and knock out the stippling to uh, so I don't have to do more travel stitching. Mm -hmm. And then when I get there, just to finish there and maybe finish with the block there. That's a really good plan. That's exactly what I was going to suggest and how I'd suggest to kind of get started. You're right here almost on this line to connect with the stippling. Basically all you have to do is just stitch off, then you can kind of wiggle in, and then you can start using this outer perimeter line as a, something to travel against. You can see here, you can pretty much flow through this outer perimeter line all the way through and around, and it's going to connect you really pretty seamlessly through to the other side of the block. So let's see how that works. point Josh is all the way right here and we've only got these few little echoes and this last little wiggle of stippling so it's really a choice between the two you can do either one in either order run these lines of echoing and then connect with that line of stippling and you're done or connect with the line of stippling and then do the echoes it doesn't matter either way so that's it for stitching, stippling, and echo shell within a basket block. That was a really quick block, and we managed you managed to stitch it with hardly any travel stitching. 
Yes, and that's always a good thing because uh, the more you travel stitch, the more chances for error. <laughs> yeah, sometimes travel stitch gain can be that thing that um, is kind of noticeable on a quilt if it's not done right, if it's not done dead on. And one of the tips that I, we were working on through this video, I mentioned it to Josh early on, was um, whenever you're coming into an area of travel stitching, like let's say you're getting off of stippling, any of these little locks of stippling that Josh has done in this block, he consciously slowed down as he hit those lines to travel stitch. And that really, when I made that suggestion, it instantly improved his quilting. So that might be something you want to try too. Just take the gas off the foot pedal, you know, take your foot off the foot pedal and slow down anytime you have to travel stitch and I promise it's going to look better and it's going to feel easier. So any other tips about this block? Uh, oh, uh, I skipped the uh, echoing circles and half circles in the handle. I looked at that. I knew I wasn't going to do it. So. Yeah. Josh <laughs> is always changing up the blocks a little bit and doing them his own way. It's also making the block quicker and easier to, for him to stitch. So that might be a suggestion for making this block just a little less intimidating if you're looking at it and kind of scared at all of these different lines of quilting to come, coming together. So that's it for this video. My name is Leah Day and I'm here with my husband Josh and he has been stitching out a block from the Building Blocks Quilt Along. You can join this quilt along at any time by picking up a copy of the pattern, which comes with both piecing and free motion quilting instructions. That pattern is available at leahday.com. You can also pick up our pre-printed Spoonflower Cheater Cloth fabric. It's available in a couple different colorways, so you can find something that you like, hopefully. All you have to do is cut your blocks apart, baste them, and you're ready to start free motion quilting. It's a great option if you're just interested in building skill for free motion. Find the fabric at spoonflower.com. Until next time, let's go quilt.